Hey everyone, I am back in Manila, Philippines. We just left Tokyo yesterday. We got here early evening. Today is just a chill day in Manila. And then tomorrow I will be making my journey back home to the States. So before I leave, I wanted to share with you my luxury haul. These are all the items I got new from the stores directly. I will be doing a whole separate video on the vintage luxury resellers because that's just such an overwhelming amount of information. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram because that's where I post, like I was posting stories all through the different shopping excursions that I made. But for now, these are all the items I got brand new. And just to answer a lot of the most frequently asked questions, the prices in Tokyo for these designers, so Goyard, Louis Vuitton, Bulgari, um, I looked at YSL, overall are so much less than the States and less than Singapore, Thailand, and even here in the Philippines. Last year I visited, you know, Philippines, Thailand, Singapore, the luxury shopping there, it was kind of hit or miss, but in some cases it was actually more expensive than the States. But in Tokyo, it was across the board, less expensive, like just the retail price was less expensive. And then on top of that, you get your VAT tax refund. And my favorite part is that you get your tax refund at checkout. So rather than saving your receipts and then getting the tax refund at the airport on your way out, you get it at checkout as long as you show your passport they deduct the tax from the purchase amount so it's already such a good deal you get the tax refund and then depending on when you go so the currency fluctuates a little bit right now as i'm filming this the japanese yen is like 151 to 1 us dollar like 151 japanese yen to 1 us dollar so the us dollar is stronger when i first got to tokyo it was actually 148 so it kind of changed the calculations around when I was doing the conversion. But in general, it's a better deal, better prices, better shopping in Tokyo. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. Number one on my Tokyo shopping bucket list was something from LV with the Tokyo hot stamp. Now I've shown this in all my other like travel videos, but if you're not familiar with LV, they do certain location stamps depending on the city or the country. So for example, this is my passport cover that I got from Manila last year and it has this very pretty Manila stamp. I actually unbox it here. They will only hot stamp certain like small leather goods and I was trying, you guys, I was trying so hard to find something that I could hot stamp. I really didn't want another like wallet. I don't need another passport cover. I could have used like maybe like luggage or I was trying on men's bags that have the luggage tag. I was trying so hard but anyway I ended up getting a wallet <laughs> which is fine. So here is the box, brand new. They were so nice. This first item I got from the LV in Ginza. Ginza is the main like luxury shopping district in Tokyo. It's kind of like their Fifth Avenue, Madison Avenue, like very fancy upscale shopping. All the brands are there, but this is it. And the LV is not a standalone one that I went to. I don't know actually if there is a standalone LV, but the LV I went to where I, where I got this is in the Matsuya, uh, department store in Ginza, which is like their fancy shopping department store, kind of like Saks or, you know, Neiman Marcus. Anyway, okay, so this is what I got. I got a wallet. I'm pretty sure this is the Rosalie wallet, but I got the black leather. I just love how soft this is. I usually stick with Monogram, but with especially small wallets, I just sometimes find it to be really stiff. So I chose this. It's so soft. You have a slip pocket in the back. And it opens up and you have a little change zip pocket in the front which i really like and then you open it up and there is the little hot stamps so the hot stamp for tokyo is this vivian they call it the kabuki vivian it actually looks interesting because of the the grainy leather but it's the kabuki vivian it's supposed to have a white mask on and then i think they said some locations say Tokyo because again, if you compare the city stamp to Manila, it says Manila. I would have preferred if it said it, but that's okay. But isn't it so cute? I love this. And I've already been eyeing this wallet. I find that I use smaller wallets more so than, you know, large wallets. I, they just kind of sit in my drawer. But I like this because it also has a bill fold at the top. And then you have the little card slots here. Very cute. So now I can check off the Tokyo hot stamp from my LV wish list. And again, like I said, the prices fluctuate. Okay, so this was priced at 85,000 yen because again, this was located in a department store. I had to pay the full amount with tax, but then you take the receipt and a purchase up to the tax refund counter within the department store. And then you get the VAT refund. You can choose to get it back in cash or card. So this is 85,000 plus 8,500 yen. So a total of 93,500 yen, but I got the tax refund back 
of 8,500 yen. So that's about $619 is what I got charged on my card when you convert to US. Then I got a tax refund. And so I think I opted to get the cash back because it's a better exchange rate if you get the cash back. Yeah, so 619, but minus 5% tax. In Tokyo, we stayed at the Bulgari Hotel that was on my bucket list. I never thought I could accomplish it, but luckily I was able to cash in my, I think it was my Delta, my Amex Delta miles. I was able to redeem that towards my Bulgari hotel stay, which was so amazing. I was so excited when I saw that they popped up in the list of the hotel. So I booked it immediately. Anyway, amazing, amazing hotel. I think I'll do a separate like review about the hotel itself because it just had such incredible amenities. The restaurant was so good. It was the first time I dined at a one-star Michelin restaurant. It was amazing. Upon checkout, you get a gift and they presented me with this bag and it is the special Hotel Tokyo Bulgari bag with, oh my God, I just noticed it has Mount Fuji on there. You have the cherry blossoms. Oh, I love this. It was such a surprise. It was just at the reception when we were checking out, but here it is. So it says Bulgari Hotels and Resorts. And inside, as a thank you gift for staying with them, I got this personalized Bulgari Hotel Tokyo luggage tag. So inside it has my name, it has their address, which I think is so funny. Like it would have been nice if, their, if the address was my name and my actual address at home. So if it's lost, it'll go to the Bulgari Hotel in Tokyo. I have to go pick it up like if I use my luggage. Anyway, such a thoughtful gift when you check out at the Bulgari Hotel in Tokyo. And speaking of Bulgari, when you stay there, they have a butler that can do all of your scheduling, making reservations at restaurants. They also obviously, you know, partner with the Bulgari store. So they can call ahead and make an appointment for you so that the store will expect you. So I went in and I got something from my favorite jewelry brand. This is a live unboxing. This was something that I wanted for a while and I just, didn't pull the trigger on it, but because again, the pricing is so much better in Tokyo, you get the tax refund back right away at checkout because I, this was direct with the store. Here is the box. I got, I think it's called the Diva ring. <laughs> so it is the Diva from the Diva collection. All of my Bulgari jewelry is from the Serpenti collection. So this is the first piece of jewelry I have from them that is not from the Serpenti collection, but I love the bypass style. I love the wraparound. I love the white, I think it's mother of pearl, and then you have the diamonds, Hawaii diamonds here. And then I think this is in the rose gold, but the rose gold is very similar to the yellow gold. Like my bracelet, my uh, my other ring is rose gold, and then I have a silver a Serpenti watch. But yeah, I love the Serpenti collection, and I love this Diva, I think that's what it's called, Diva ring, Diva collection. By the way, the store is beautiful, beautiful store. I mean, everything is just immaculate. For the Bulgari Diva ring in Tokyo, this was 327,000 yen. So this retails for $2,450 US plus tax for whichever state you're in. So for me, I we have a 7% tax. So if I bought this in the States, I would have had to pay $2,621. But in Japan, the, with the exchange rate, and with the lower price, this was, what did I say? 2000, like 2100. So I saved about over $500 buying this in Japan. Now onto the most exciting purchase. I was hell bent on getting something from Goyard. I tried to get the new limited edition collection, like the turquoise bag that came out earlier this year, or maybe it's still available in some stores. Goyard is notoriously difficult to purchase. It's impossible to find the prices unless you call the stores directly, or you can just like find other people giving out the prices because they don't publish their prices online. In the States, there are only six Goyard stores and there isn't one near me, unfortunately. So I knew I wanted to get something from there. This Goyard is located also where the LV was at the Matsuya uh, department store in Ginza. There was like three people ahead of me. It wasn't a long wait, but it's kind of a small boutique and they just don't have a lot of inventory. They have the, the tote that everyone has either the is it the Artois or the Saint Louis? I didn't really want that. I just, I wanted something that I knew I would get a lot of wear out of. So, and I wanted something in my favorite color. <laughs> so I'll show you the smaller one first. I got this wallet in this beautiful blue. I love this blue color. It reminds me of the ocean. It's so pretty. And similar to the other LV, like small wallet. I love the size. It is just the perfect size for me. 
you can have cards in there, you can have whatever. And then on the other side, you have this, which is like half a bill fold. So you can keep cash bills in here if you fold it in half, but I just love this little style. Love this little wallet. I love the color and I love the size. I was looking into the other like zip pouch. Is it Senat pouch? But they didn't have the one I wanted with the keychain. I don't know what this wallet is called and I have to find the receipt. Once I find it, I'll, I'll put it in the description, but I, I'm not sure <laughs> how much this was. Whatever the price was, again, I looked it up while I was in store. I looked it up in the States, like what people were publishing the prices and it was less than whatever this is in the States. I got this second because I got this bag, my first Goyard bag, and it is the Belvedere in the same blue color. I love this. I was so excited when she pulled this out because this is such a, like it's the perfect bag for me. I wear crossbodies. It has a phone, like slip pocket in the back. I love the blue color. It is brand new. I'm surprised they still have this. I think it's just not a popular, you know, like it's kind of like an easily wearable color. Look how pretty the lighting right now isn't great, but and I love the interior. So you have this bright yellow. I was already sold on the bag before she even opened it up. When I said I'll take it, she's like, okay, do you want to see the inside? I was like, oh yeah, I should check out the inside. But here's the inside. It is this very pretty, bright, easy to see yellow interior lining of this long slip pocket. And then you have two slip pockets right here. And again, the slip pocket in the back. And then this just sticks in. And then this sticks in here. As she was telling me the prices, I was writing it down. Also, they're very strict about pictures. I have to look up how much I paid, but again, it was less than US, like already. And then I got another 5% tax refund when I checked out. And then because I wanted to try my luck again at the other Goyard location, we visited the Shinjuku shopping district where the other Goyard store is. And I believe this one is in the, it's either Satan or Matsuya or Takashimaya. I forget. I'm sorry. There were so many stores. There's so many stores. There's so many places to shop. But whichever store it was, it was a similar setup where the Goyard boutique is within a department store. They have whatever they have available. And then when you check out, you pay the full tax amount, but then you go up to the tax refund floor. So I got something else. I got this, which I have been eyeing always from Goyard. The Goyard train case in black. I love my LV Nice BB. This is pretty much the exact same size. I can do a comparison. I love this. Isn't it such a pretty color? So I have the fun blue for that pop of color and now I have the nice safe black Goyard train case. This is great because you can add a crossbody strap. They sold two different ones at the store, but they were so expensive. The one like fabric strap with the leather trim was about the equivalent of 340 US. And then the leather, all leather strap was like five or almost $600 US. And I was like, I'm okay. I have plenty of leather straps that I can use, but I love that the top folds down flat. And then, oh, you can lock it if you want. Although I think they don't sell locks, which is interesting. There it is. You have the same very pretty yellow on the inside. Similar setup to the Noe or the LV train cases with these straps to hold the bottle. Oh my gosh, I just noticed it has a leather tab to close it, but then you have the ruche pocket here, and then you have this little pocket mirror. Very cute. So the train case was 228,000 yen just for the train case. The fabric strap is 53,000 yen. Together, if you get if you go with the fabric strap, it was 281,000 yen, which is about 1,898 US. I got it without the strap, so it was about 1,500 yen. Again, I'm not sure what the uh, US price is for the train case, but I love this. I love that I can use it as a cosmetic case for travel, for decoration on my vanity, or I can attach the crossbody strap and wear it as a purse. Okay, I'm gonna read off some prices to you because there was one that I passed on and then I kind of regretted it, but I was looking at the plumet, which is a crossbody, almost like a wallet on chain. I tried it on in brown and I, I passed on it in brown because I would have preferred the black strap. That was 158,000 yen, which is about 1,067 US. In store, they did have available the Saigon tote. That's the large Saigon, not the like really cute small ones, but it was in yellow, which I, I just knew I wouldn't wear that color. That was 685,000 yen or about 4,628 US, so 4,628 US. Okay, are you guys ready for the biggest bag? This one. <laughs> I was like, 
I don't need this, but it was so cute and I wanted something in this color and I know I will use it, just not frequently, but it's just, I just love it. I just couldn't pass on it. But I got this huge bag. This is called the Mediterranean. And I got it in this beautiful canvas with the turquoise print. I think it's the same color as the turquoise, like the limited edition turquoise that they have this year. But this is an older bag. She said they had a couple of these and this was from like a couple years ago, but it is a huge travel tote and look at the inside. And it has a huge base. This is fully reversible. I'll post pictures reversing it and post it to my Instagram stories. But isn't it outlandish? This is it, just a huge, huge travel tote duffel bag you can fit a small child in here you can fit i don't know all of your stuff it is so big <laughs> it is a little floppy it's soft just love the brown leather handles i love the turquoise i could probably just spray the canvas with scotch guard and then but just flip it inside out when i want to have a statement bag oh my gosh i love this and guys the price on this is incredible compared to all the other like real bags this like travel tote bag this is 207,000 yen which is about $1,370 so I got this huge luggage luggage for $1,370 I was already considering maybe getting the LV keep all when I wanted to get something with the LV hot with the uh, Tokyo hot stamp so I was like you know what if I'm gonna consider like a huge luggage piece I might as well get this and it's less so you get this huge bag for 1370 us i don't know what the us price is but that's what i paid oh less uh tax refund that is my goyard haul the mediterranean duffel travel bag the black train case and the belvedere pm in blue with the matching wallets all right guys that is my luxury shopping haul from tokyo japan again stay tuned for my luxury vintage resellers in tokyo video and I might have a separate like review on the Bulgari Hotel because it was just so amazing, especially with this beautiful gift at checkout. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.